identical copy of that trial is now being implemented in Nebraska. 美国卫生官员重大宣布，启动针对武汉肺炎患者的首度临床试验，对象是在钻石公主号撤侨后确诊的美国人。但可别高兴得太早。That is a trial that we would have to conduct in those countries and those areas where there's active transmission. That itself. Even at rocket speed, would take at least an additional six to eight months. 为了确保疫苗安全无虞，不厌其烦的测试绝对少不了。预计疫苗问世最快要一年到一年半，对美国目前疫情缓不济急。Now it's not so much a question of if this will happen anymore, but rather more a question of exactly when this will happen and how many people in this country will become infected. 美国机关署铁口直断，武汉肺炎迟早在当地大流行，更警告全力冲刺口罩生产。因为目前美国虽然有三千万个 N95 口罩，不过一旦疫情爆发，全美口罩需求量将达到三亿个，而最大的防疫漏洞可能来自它。I think that's a problem that's going to go away. I think that whole situation will start working out. A lot of talent, a lot of brain power is being put behind it. 就算全球确诊人数已经突破八万人，川普不改乐观本色，还拿不出防疫对策，气得在野党开枪，要川普别再装睡。President Trump, good morning. There's a there's a pandemic of coronavirus. Where are you? Where is your plan? 白宫好不容易端出二十五亿美元紧急拨款提案，又让议员找到机会再度开炮。It was too little and too late. The administration must increase its emergency budget request to at least 3.1 billion dollars with no cut. 美国疫情处于失控边缘，先前日本朝日电视台更怀疑，美国至今死于流感的 1.4 万人，也包括武汉肺炎患者。虽然遭到美方驳斥，但以目前病毒无孔不入的程度，只要掉以轻心，将造成难以挽回的悲剧。